Hello, my name is Zach Gibbs and I'm a content developer within education services inside Juniper Networks. And today we will be going through the Paragon Active Assurance Multicast UDP Test Learning Byte. All right, so here is the topology. If you have seen any of the other Paragon Active Assurance Learning Bytes that I've created, this topology will look very familiar as it is the same. But with that being said, let's go ahead and go over the topology. Here we have three main devices we want to be concerned about. That is TA1, TA2, and the control center. TA1 and TA2 use ETH0 to connect to the management network, which then allows connectivity with the control center. And then TA1 and TA2 use ETH1 to connect into the service provider network. All right, so what are we going to do with this? We are going to configure the multicast UDP task. And so first, uh, you probably know what multicast traffic is, but just in case you don't, multicast is, is normally used as a transport mechanism for services such as uh, IPTV or even updating PCs at the same time. So by using the multicast UDP task here, like what we're doing, we're gonna be able to figure out how the network handles multicast traffic with things like end-to-end uh, -end delay, jitter, and packet loss, as well as other things. All right, so what this task does is it sends UDP multicast traffic from a server, which in our case is going to be TA1, and then TA2, which acts as a client, is going to receive the multicast traffic. And this would probably make a lot more sense if we had more than just one client, because TA1 acts as the server, TA2 is the client, but in the test bed, I only have the two test agents, so with this, we're going to use just one client. But the concept holds true, whether it's one multicast client or many multicast clients. So when this task starts, first TA1, which remember is the server, generates multicast traffic towards the destination multicast address, which in our case is 239. Dot one dot one dot one hundred. Then TA2, which is the client, tries to join that multicast address. And if TA2 is successful at joining the multicast address, things like one-way delay, jitter, packet loss, and packet misordings are recorded, and we'll see that in the results. All right. So with that being said, let's actually talk about the specifics of the test. Uh, we're going to have a duration of thirty seconds. As we talked about, the server is TA1, clients TA2. We're going to be sending 10 megabits per second of multicast traffic. The multicast address is 239.1.1.100. The port we're going to use is 3214. And then for error seconds thresholds, we're going to say 0% loss. So if we have any loss, the test is going to fail. And so with that, we're going to run the test and examine the results. And so let's go ahead and jump to the control center web interface and get this going. All right, so here is the control center web interface. We're on the dashboard. Let's go ahead and go to tests and then new test sequence. And we'll call this multicast UDP LB learning byte for short. And then we're going to select the multicast UDP task. And notice how this is a puzzle piece. So we could add additional tasks in parallel if we wanted to, but in our case, we're just focusing on the multicast UDP task. So we'll set the duration to 30 seconds. And then server, we're gonna select TA1, and that's gonna be ETH1. Very important, you select the right interface there. And TA2, ETH1. And the rate, remember that's going to be 10 megabits per second. And the multicast address is going to be 239.1.1.100. And then the port is going to be 3124. And the air seconds threshold, we're just setting the loss at 0% and leaving it at that. We could specify the delay, the jitter, the expected DSCP value as well, but we don't need to do that for our test. So let's go ahead and click the start button. And you can see here that it is setting the stream up. And you can see we have the one stream going from TA1 to TA2. And you can see here that we have no aired seconds. Everything looks really good. The test is about to finish up and it is done. And it passed, it did not fail. And remember the only aired seconds threshold we were doing is loss. And you can see here we had 0% loss. We can see the delay as well is really low. And so we, let's click on the actual stream itself, have a closer look. So here we can see the graph. We can see 10 megabits per second straight across, no problems. Uh, we can see that there was no loss. Everything looks good there. Let's go ahead and get rid of the rate so we can get a little more detail in what's going on. Because if we have that rate selected, it 
shows 10 megabits across the board and everything else is so minimal you don't actually see that. So let's deselect that rate and have a closer look at things. And so here we have the average delay in milliseconds. We can see that across the board throughout the entire test, very low. And we select loss and there's nothing shown because loss was zero. If loss had shown up at all, you would see it across the graph as well. Uh, misordered packets was zero, so nothing shows up there. We can do the minimum and max delay and also jitter to get a little more information. And you can see here the jitter definitely lines up with the delay as well. And so we can look at the table as well to get this information. Now, since there wasn't any errors, we do have to select the show all radio button. And we can see the individual statistics as we go. We can see the delay for each second. Now, remember, this is a test, so it records the data every single second. It's got a one second resolution window. And you can see the received packets. You can see the packet loss, air seconds, and things like that. So you can see, see the information of the individual second as it was recorded throughout the entire test. So that does bring us to the end of this learning byte. In this learning byte, we demonstrated how to configure and run a multicast UDP test. So as always, thanks for watching. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses, learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths, Juniper Networks certification program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence, and the training community. From forums to social media, join the discussion.